As you know, Arctic sea ice is a frozen cap at the top of the Earth that melts away in the summer and freezes in the winter. But this year, as this University of Illinois animation shows, something extraordinary has happened. You're looking at the last month or so, seeing how more ice has melted away than in recent history. It's not something that's happening decades from now or generations from now. It's it's uh, it's real and it's now. Here's how much average summer ice there should be compared to 2007 and finally the record breaking year this year where you can see summer ice is disappearing faster than ever. It's down to less than 4 million square kilometers. Weather Underground's Dr. Jeff Masters tells us since the late 70s, the Arctic has lost an area of ice that's roughly the size of Western Europe. We've heard the same urgency from Rutgers University researcher Dr. Jennifer Francis. I think the, the loss in the Arctic sea ice is just a remarkable uh, visual stunning image of the changes that are happening in the climate system. Because of the loss of Arctic sea ice, you're going to have uh, an influence on the jet stream, which is the upper air river of air that controls our weather here. Now we hear the extra heat is changing the way the jet stream moves. And that means that the weather that anyone is experiencing at any given place is just going to last longer. What happens on the top of the world affects the whole globe. It's like a furnace someone has just switched on. We're in a situation now where the ice has become so thin that really it doesn't take an unusual summer anymore to melt back this much ice. Now that more of that ice is gone, all that heat is affecting our weather at home. That part of the story tomorrow. Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel, 